What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Ant. I just got the pigment on. Finally off. All right, looking at the rear blocks. Looks like this right here is too long, so I had to cut it off or grind it off. Whatever you prefer. And uh, on this side, too, right here, I don't know why it didn't fit. It didn't fit flush, so I also grinded that off a little bit. That actual bolt broke on me so put a new one on there and grind that off too it fits and it's ready to go together simple as that i just need to safely jack this up because this, this truck already fell on me i'm gonna add a video right now it's actually just like a little short tiktok video but i'm gonna add it right now <laughs> yeah this truck fell on me it was pretty crazy that's why the truck's turned I haven't actually fixed it back into place, so this is where she lies. And she was on the floor on her ass. It was pretty crazy. I was wondering how I was wondering how I would react when a truck fell. And <clears throat> it wasn't you know, it wasn't that serious good because you know we weren't under the truck. We we're we we're actually kinda be careful because you know the jacks. We knew we were in mud and you know it'd be kinda messed up. I, I actually had this on the hitch these jacks and I'm jacking from the front too high and because the jacks are like in the mud it brought the you know the truck towards there and just tipped over and fell so i'm gonna get this back to i'm gonna get the back together first and then i head over there but you know for now like i said this and then back to the front and we're then we'll you know remove everything paint everything and then back together and she should pretty much be done and get her aligned and you know the transmission and you know dry shafts well you know i think i'll be after the alignment or first you know whatever i could just connect this for now and then do the after all right guys she's on her feet what i like how the lift actually angled the, the axle a little bit that's pretty cool before she hadn't recorded anything because you know i was in game mode you know trying to get shit done so need to get nothing done but don't look at the haircut so Either way, trucks put back together. Everything's looking pretty promising. Let's see, um, e brake cables are connecting back up. <laughs> Remember a couple of days ago, I didn't know what to do with the e brake cables. Yeah, so stupid. But they put, they're, you know, they're back on. Of course, I gotta adjust them. But for now, it's all good. So the U joints are just enough. They're pretty much, pretty much right on, spot on. And uh, this thing actually, the, the e brake cable, I actually brought it back down, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because you know it won't reach from here. All right, guy, heads up. If you plan on just installing it, get this thing powder coated first before you do any of this stuff. Because look at me, I'm pretty much doing double work. I, well, you know, pretty much I put everything to install it right, pretty much check if everything fits right. So everything fits, so you know, really, I'm not complaining really because it has to do it regardless, but. Now everything's off. I painted the frame. Now everything's off. I already scuffed the frame already. Like I'm gonna say like two weeks ago, three weeks ago, but I painted that. So that's all good. So the whole frame is painted. Look at that. Looking real good. All I have left to do is the other side. So that's still not painted. Look at the difference right there. Look at that difference. Look at that. Boom. Big difference. Yep. Back is done. I didn't tighten nothing up, but look at that. Look where I messed up that. Look at that. Imagine if I drove off with this. The bolt's not even in the center. It's like right here. I can feel it under there. But I gotta fix that. Either way I didn't tighten it up. I just wanted to see how it, how high it would be, so. Ain't no problem. Get it fixed. All right. Well, I'm gonna clean this stuff up. Actually, for now, I'm actually gonna scuff all this stuff up, clean it, power wash it, and then paint it, and then just go from there. But so far, pretty good job. Oh, this thing's looking real good now. Frames all painted up. Check it out. Ooh. 
Got the RSK bar installed, painted, and everything. I would say get that thing powder coated because I don't like that it's painted, but you know, it's, it looks pretty good. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that frame. Ooh, so clean. Looking real good. Man, don't look at that. Don't look at that right there. Don't look at that. But, jeez. I even got the, uh, the rear leaf brackets. I even got the rear leaf brackets uh, on. Looks real good. Let me take the, that cardboard out of there. Oh, I'll leave it just because I got to paint everything again. I just leave it. Because I, I was installing all of them things. So, that's on. Man, that is beautiful. I might install these just so I can look better. So I can be ready to put those leaves on. I'm excited. This truck is ready to go. All right. I dedicated a day to just take out the pimping on. I had it all cut up in all different types of places. We give him that my little twenty dollar torch. Man. I'm telling you, I don't know if you can see me, it's a little dark, but man, this thing is tough. I just got the pigment on, finally off. Finally. Okay, so, pigment arm is finally off. I ain't gonna lie, I'm very happy. I actually uh, got a die grinder on the side of it, and, uh, Hit it with the impact with the chisel. Hopefully, I was hoping it would crack. It didn't, but fortunately, actually, you know, loosened all the I guess the rust in here and everything. So now that was all good. This thing was had to be the worst pitman I ever took off. Well, either way, it's off. I'm actually about to install the track bar right now. So my plan is because I have an adjustable adjustable uh, track bar, I'm actually gonna just make it the exact same size as the other. I made the exact same size as the other track bar. And I have the uh, the Skyjacker like extension for the, the pen hard, you know, I guess that's what it's called, something like that. The bracket, the actual bracket. Show you right quick. Where's that drop stack? Oh, yeah, it's right there. So that actually have like a... So I bought this bracket, Skyjacker. This, this bracket right here. So now bolt on top of the, I mean, under the engine and then the track bar bracket's gonna go right here. And that should extend it. And supposedly this track bar bracket is not like to extend it for a lift. So that's why I ended up getting this. So if it does, if it does, if it can, you know, extend it, I'll just, you know, remove this and just run the, the track bar bracket, the stock one. You know, hopefully it's strong enough. It's pretty, some pretty thick steel right here. So I think that would, um, would hold so i'm gonna do that just place it where i want either way because it's just the one place where i want and uh drill the holes and install it so that's a wrap all right by the way the hoopty right here new whip i just got it two days ago so the hoopty right there that's the let's see i guess it's back of, i guess the back of this truck right here this thing the seats down Put like an engine in there or whatever. This thing right here. That's the grocery grader right there. That thing go hard. I ain't gonna lie, the the camber on this side is real, real messed up. I just took out the wheel, you know, right now that's where the impact's on the floor. I just checked it, made sure everything was good, everything looks healthy. Uh and I'll get alignment. I'm actually gonna get some tires for the front and then get the alignment. I don't know if they try to make it cool by doing that or what, but if not, they probably hit something because my piece a little fucked up, but yeah. So we got a lot of progress. I kind of didn't record anything because I was trying to get it done. So I'm actually leaving a little bit, so I'm missing one bolt up there, but it's cool. It's uh, it's up there. I got the tie rods out. Unfortunately, the, these tie rods aren't the same, just the tie rod ends, but 
track bar is on if you if you're gonna use the original track bar i say you know install it you know have your your axle in center you know where you want it but because mine's adjustable i should put my kind of you know like in between as best i could so i can move it around either a couple inches to the left a couple inches to the right so hopefully i'm able to shift this thing you know left to right whenever it's all said and done uh tie rods i need to get those i need to get the right ones and after that she's pretty much done as in the axle you know that's pretty easy you know this transmission just bolted on right i got the got the brackets over there uh, you already seen them uh do that i have to shorten the rear drive shaft which i gotta figure out hopefully there's a drive shaft shop around here and i shorten that down but yep these will be I'm probably actually gonna just not drive it right i just want to drive it around you know the you know the property just to see how it you know feels how bumpy it is really oh i almost forgot we ain't got no brake lines on here can't do without no brakes right so i gotta get the brake lines uh connected probably gonna get some ex extended ones but hopefully the two-wheel drive ones fit because supposed to be longer but if not we'll buy some all right getting all the tie rods placed i'm not gonna lie i kind of messed up on this order right so i ordered the whole set nothing for this truck nothing and i passed the return date so you know spent 200 dollars for no reason but either way order everything again like like 250 or something like that you know on amazon and now we have everything right now everything matches up i should have checked before when i ordered it but you know <sighs> it's my fault but either way we got the stuff i'm about to make sure everything's exactly the same you know then put it on the truck the bad thing is that I didn't get um, the dust cover on it on this one, so the good thing is that with all the ones I ordered, I'm pretty sure I can, I can you know make one that fits on there. So I'm good on that, and just put these on and step back on the truck. They try to try to see what's up with them brakes, and you know we should be done in a little bit. All right, let's get to it. Look at this thing sitting right. Hell yeah. I got a brake line that's leaking, so I gotta fix that. But hell yeah, she's up. Cool. Hope y'all like the video. Y'all like, subscribe. Y'all take care. Peace.